Jaclyn Hill just released her Let's Talk video spilling her truth. But what we're gonna do in this video is analyze her body language and see what she was really saying. What is up everybody, this is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I got some bad news. I'm not a drama channel. I'm actually a mental health channel. So if you're into improving your mental and emotional well-being, you should probably subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. I make so many videos. This is actually my third video today. I just recorded a different Jaclyn Hill video, but I'm not sure which one I'm gonna release first. I think I'm gonna release this one first. But anyways, subscribe, ring the notification bell. I try to take things from pop culture and see what we can do to improve our mental health. So anyways, to kind of talk about why I'm going to do this body language read on Jaclyn Hill with this video is I made a video maybe a week or two ago about this awesome new book I got called What's What? What Everybody Is Saying by Joe Navarro. He's a FBI agent or former FBI agent, and he specializes in reading body language. I will link down to the book below, but I made a video about how this can be very helpful if you're somebody who struggles with social anxiety and you don't know what to say or how people are responding to you or what you're saying. Picking up these little cues can actually help you calm your anxiety because you'll know if this person is comfortable or they're angry, but this can be super beneficial for everybody. But anyways, I wanna you know, talk about what I noticed in Jaclyn Hill's video, which might help give you some clarity about the situation. So the first thing is, is like, why does Jaclyn Hill keep touching her hair? And it like, it bums me out whenever I see people kind of like call someone out for like something that they do, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, it's just, like I, like I said, I had social anxiety. If people like pointed out the stuff I was doing all the time, um, it would make me really uncomfortable, you know? <laughs> but there's actually reasons why she's touching her hair. Like I have weird things I do. I've learned to just kind of laugh about it, I guess. Um, but you know, for example, like Bobby Burns like blinks all the time, you know? I actually noticed that H3H3 blinks all the time too. But you know, that's because of a tick and things like that. But anyways, so Jacqueline Hill's been touching her hair a lot. Like everybody's talking about it. She's even talked about it and things like that. Well, there's something that's called a pacifying behavior, okay? What happens is, is when you get anxious or when you get nervous, and I'm gonna make more videos on how you could do this. Your brain is responding. There's a part of your brain called the limbic system, okay? This is a part of the brain that just, it goes, goes, goes without you even consciously knowing what you're doing. So when you're anxious or nervous, you are doing things with your hands to calm yourself down and you don't even realize it, okay? So what we can tell from Jaclyn Hill's video is that she, she is nervous and she is kind of anxious. What's funny is I was talking to my um, my girlfriend and my girlfriend's friend Shelby in our little group text about you know Jaclyn Hill and her new video, and she made a tweet and it said like, you know I couldn't sleep all last night. I'm so anxious about this video. And something I I want to bring up just real quick because I'm all about you know decreasing the stigma and stuff like that about mental illness. She said I'm so anxious about this video. And I was telling him, and this isn't Jaclyn Hill, okay, but just in general. It's, it's interesting to me how how in this day and age, like saying the word anxious is like, I don't know, trendy or cool or whatever. Like, it's almost like people forgot that there's a word called nervous, you know? Like that word nervous, you can use that word. You don't always gotta say anxious. Like anxiety is something different. Anyways, anyways, after watching this video and seeing how much Jaclyn Hill does touch her hair, she might actually have some anxiety, and I don't blame her. It sounds like she's been having a lot of controversies. Um, things aren't going too well with her product line. But you can tell just from the beginning of this video, like right here in this clip I'm showing you, she's talking about how she's gonna be open and honest. And when she says certain things, she touches her hair and strokes it. And so what she's doing is, is her brain, when it's talking about those specific things is telling her, okay, it's all right, calm yourself down, calm yourself down. One of the reasons this works is because there's a lot of nerve endings in your fingers. So when she's touching her silky smooth extensions, it's actually helping her calm down. So what I would recommend, even if you wanna watch it at two times speed, but go back and check this out now. I don't have hair to make an example of it, this, but this is her hair stroking is different than her pulling her hair back. That is something different. Like, it's possible that that might be a pacifying behavior, but most likely she's just getting her hair out of the way, okay? But as you watch throughout the video, 
And if you get to the part where she's talking about collabs and money and things, like you can tell when she touches on a certain sub subject that kind of makes her nervous. Why? I don't know, maybe there is something there. That could be a tell that there might be something there. Hey everybody, sorry for the auditory change, but I just found this other clip and I just want to really point out and drive home what I'm trying to explain here about the hair touching. So in this clip that I'm about to show you, this is where she's about to read the email that she actually sent to Makeup Geek about the collab. And as you can see, right before she reads this email, she touches her hair. This is something that makes her nervous. Like she's not sure if it's a good idea to really show what this email said. So as you could tell, she's calming herself down as she's getting ready to read this email. Is there something I can do to make this right for you, you know? But at the end of the day, the collaboration just didn't make sense. For business-wise, it didn't make sense. So I have an email sitting in front of me right here, and I'm gonna read it to you guys, okay? I'm not gonna read you anything that Marlene or her team ever sent to me because that's not my place, and I don't wanna make this into like a he said, she said thing. I just want you guys to know where I was coming from in this because I am sick of everyone having misinformation out there. So this email dated on August 19th, 2015 says, the other part of body language that I, I wanna just kind of bring up, she has her hands on the desk the entire time. Now, this is, if anybody thinks that this video was BS, I would say it's not based on her hand placement, okay? Having her hands up on the table subconsciously, that means that you're confident and you're actually not hiding anything, okay? So because her hands are on the table, I would say just based on that, you know, not being able to jump in her brain and see if she's telling the truth. Based on that, she has a confidence and honesty about what she's saying, even though she left a lot of stuff out. But I think it's safe to say that she is. Now, I know we can't see her hands, but when you see all the hair touching she's doing, you can tell she's not bringing her hand up from under the table. When people's hands are underneath the table, this is usually a sign that they're hiding something. They actually did a really interesting study with jury members, right? And jury members are more likely to perceive um, somebody on the witness stand as lying if their hands are underneath the desk. And it's actually quite true. When somebody's hiding their hands, they're typically not telling you the truth. So anyways, I thought this was an interesting topic, especially because everybody's like, why does Jacqueline Hill keep touching her hair? Well, she's nervous. Give the girl a break, all right? But anyways, I'm not excusing any of her behaviors in the past, like I said in my other video that you might see later. Like, I don't know about her past and things like that, but anyways, Anyways, just based on her body language, these are a couple of things that we can learn from it, all right? But let me know what you thought about her video and if you think she was being honest or truthful and all that, let me know down in the comments, okay? But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I have so many mental health videos, all right? And a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, I love you. And if you wanna get some Rewired Soul merch, boom, click or tap on the shop icon right there. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.